Inside After Effects, there's an awesome tool called the Displacement Map, and you can use it to displace the contents of one layer with the contents of another. My name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a few cool examples on how to use it. So to begin, I've got a blank composition open, and I've got a couple random textures that I've gotten from the internet. Now this works on photos or videos. I just wanna animate this still frame photo because I think it looks cool. So for this first example, we first want to create our layer that's going to serve as the displacement map. So I'm gonna generate this all from scratch in After Effects by going to Layer, New, Solid. I'll press OK. And then on the right hand side in our Effects and Presets panel, I'm gonna search for one called Fractal Noise. You should find it in the Noise and Grain section and I'll drag it onto this black solid that we just created. This is a very powerful tool in itself and could warrant a whole separate tutorial. But the cool part about this is it can generate all different kinds of noise and gradients. So first, for the fractal type, I'm gonna use Smeary, but you can really experiment with many different ones. For the contrast, I'm gonna increase it a little bit till the blacks get a little bit darker. And then within the transformation options, I'm gonna increase the scale so it's a little bit larger. And I'm also going to decrease the complexity of it because I want things to kind of be smooth and liquidy or inky. So once I find a balance between dark and light and the smoothness and texture that I want, the last step we have to do is to animate it. Now, rather than manually animating this with keyframes and using the evolution setting to cycle this wheel over time, I'd rather just use an expression to keep it animating over time without me doing anything. So I'm gonna drop down the menu of the effect controls on the black solid and under the fractal noise effect, I'm gonna find the evolution setting and under that stopwatch keyframe, I'm gonna hold option and click and that'll allow me to add an expression. And I'm just gonna type time in here and I'm gonna use the multiplication symbol and use 20. So this will make it so that every one second will move 20 degrees forward in the evolution. So basically we just have an infinite loop going here every second is 20 degrees. You can make it slower or faster depending on how fast you want your displacement map to be moving. So feel free to get creative with your results. Yours may look much different than what I have, but we have our basic displacement map now. I'm actually gonna move this solid underneath the textures that I'm trying to displace. And now I'm going to go to whatever texture I wanna displace. I'm gonna go to the effects and presets panel and find the displacement map effect. It's in the distort folder and add it onto that layer. Now we have the option to choose the displacement map layer. And in this case, we'll just use that black solid that we just generated. So in order to actually see anything, since our black solid is not a video itself, and we're actually working with the effects on that layer, we wanna make the source to be including effects and masks. And then we want to adjust the horizontal and vertical displacement levels. Five is pretty gentle, but you can make it go all the way up to 50 or 100 and you can see the effect getting stronger. Now, I'm also going to change the displacement map behavior to stretch map to fit because sometimes your images or different layers can be different sizes than each other. In this case, the picture was bigger than the solid. And now if I press play, I can see the beginning of that liquidy displacement happening based on the fractal. Now by default, it uses the red and green color channels to displace, but you also have a whole bunch of different options such as displacing by lightness or hue or saturation, which can give you different varied results. And you can see if I just copy and paste this same effect onto any different texture, we can get the same cool displacement going. But the cool part about displacement maps is that they work with any combination of layers. The same results, could be achieved with text layers. So for example, if I type that out and paste in the same displacement effect, you can also do this using videos. So I have some cool liquidy textures that I found on a stock footage website. I can displace my textures with just simply these footages for another really cool effect. I think maybe even cooler because it's more organic and realistic. And you can even displace videos with other videos, other pictures, or even themselves. 
These tools are very flexible. These are just some fun different examples to show you how they work, but you can use them in many different abstract or functional ways. You can also find the displacement tool in Adobe Photoshop. So if you wanna learn more about it there, I've got tutorials as well. And if you like this video, leave a like on it below. Let me know what you thought in the comments and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching.